future circuit uh, a couple of years before that as well. But uh, this is a massive, massive uphill task for him taking on the world number one. But it's also a wonderful opportunity for him to test himself out, find out where his level is at. And uh, be able to tell maybe the grandchildren one day that he played against the world number one out on centre court here at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships. Looking a little bit nervous, it has to be said, but actually he's had a terrific run here already in these championships. Came through the qualifying and avenged a loss to Alexander Zverev from Germany, the wild card coming through that one, 6176, and then a good win over the left-handed Spaniard Feliciano a week of tournament play on the glass courts, but it is a tricky surface. Guys, Guys, same conditions. Just uh, you can have picture with the boys after the talk with the great. All guy in the right works. Please make sure to be clear when you want to challenge with the boys, okay? Any questions? Head, what else? Head. Head. You receive? Okay. With the boys here. Well, he'll do exactly what Roger Federer did not so long ago when he was out on this court and uh, rather surprisingly and chose to receive. Guy. But for Marcel Inhan, I'm boys. sure he's a bit nervous. There's a few, uh, you know, nerves jangling through his body. So why not uh, try and get rid of some of those in that first service game? That was nice. Not that gave him a little friendly. <laughs> So what a massive moment this is then for Marcel Ilhan. Plays most of his tennis out there on that challenger circuit. Born in Uzbekistan, residing in Turkey, turned pro in 2006. And his career prize money, 863,000. His current ranking, 104. Finished the second highest year-end ranking at 104 last year. He has been a little bit higher than that, though. His best year-end ranking was 90. That was in 2010. But he's been higher at 87. That was in 2011, but not as a year-end. He played in five tour level tournaments as a qualifier, lost in the first round in Montpellier, in Barcelona, Queens on the grass courts in Wimbledon and in Hamburg. But he did go 32 match wins to 15 losses at the challenger level. Winning a challenger in March, that was in Kazan. Also reached two finals in Kazakhstan and in France. That's his favourite shot. This is forehand. He's going to need that out there today against Novak. Not surprisingly, they've never played each other because normally they inhabit different tennis worlds. Marcel mainly on the Challenger Tour. And Novak, of course, exclusively on the main tour. That, incidentally, at the far end is where we are. 